Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of um, Diseases, Disabilities, Disorders. Not particularly in that order. Um, so, while at work recently, I've been having certain circumstances press against my back a lot and this is kind of what triggered it it made me think of that stereotype where you've got like this quote-unquote cranky old like elderly person and that stereotype always has them like slouching forward and holding their back but why is that well scoliosis actually and that is the topic this video. So the reason I chose scoliosis is actually that of not just thinking about the stereotype that I was referring to a moment ago itself, but the events that led to it. The fact that you know, like the causes. Um, scoliosis is one that can actually get confused with something else. So what I mean by this is there's a particular disorder that causes a horizontal problem in your back, but there's also one that causes a vertical problem. Um, scoliosis being the vertical is more common than the horizontal one. In fact, I can't even give you the name of the horizontal one. I'd have to look that one up again. I just knew about it at a point because I started looking into uh, scoliosis specifically and... I found the term once, and I, I was stupid enough not to keep note of it. With that being said, what exactly causes scoliosis? Well, there are a couple factors to this. Firstly, you have to know what actually builds the human body. Like how many muscles, how many tendons, how many bones. Um, what structures an individual's torso and like their upper body in general. When it comes specifically to the back, obviously there's the spine going up the dead center. What about the rest of it? Well, it's kind of a combination of tissue and muscle. And a good example, one good example of something that actually does build up to a point that if it's not taken care of does lead to scoliosis is that of Overexertion on muscles. Now, don't take this the wrong way. You do want to work them out. But if you overexert them, it can cause a major issue. And that can inevitably lead to the second step, or the more common step in general, of leading to the, the scoliosis. And that is slouching something I used to do in high school a lot and I've been getting better at not doing it but by the time I stopped I had already been doing it for years and because of that the retraction is that I actually do get back pains from simply doing things I used to do just fine when I was younger and this can lead to a problem if it's if there is no balance to it. Scoliosis is one of those things where it's like, everyone knows about it, but they don't take into consideration what it can cause. When you have scoliosis, let's go back to the stereotype, for example, the cranky old individual. Now, bear in mind, when I say that, I don't hate elderly people. I actually adore them. But the reason I input that, this particular circumstance is because it's what everybody seems to think of. The kind of stereotype where they yell, get off my lawn, and they're like always holding their back, slouching forward, and like s squinting. Eyes are never like wide open. They're always at like a squint. Well, the squint comes from constant pain, first of all. The slouching emphasizes on it, and the hold toward the back 
I can actually point out that one of the things that comes from that is the idea that several a time when you do have back pains, if you're able to reach it, hear that? I'm able to pop my own back because I'm double jointed. But many people can at least reach the part of their back where they can like caress and massage the muscle that's in particular pain. That's why you always see them holding it like that. It's not like just, oh, they're just putting their hand over it. It's not like they're trying to block something. They're trying to massage it in a way. And even just rubbing your hand back and forth, that warmth that comes in the aftermath is technically a type of massage. But that is straying from the topic. This particular stereotype cores off of the person over the years gaining scoliosis and not really gaining control over their emotions in response to what the pain does. Now, bear in mind this does not apply to everyone. It's called a stereotype for a reason. But scoliosis, if given a certain amount of pain, can cause that kind of irritation. I can actually confirm this. Now, whether you exert that frustration or try to um, translate it into something that can help you at least seem goodly, even if you're in a bad mood, really depends on the person. But scoliosis leads to pain that could eventually lead to that kind of response, that kind of negative attitude. It's the pain that it's trying to balance its out, itself out to level to what, this is how the body starts, but the more you do it, the bone just starts to readjust itself, and the muscles do the same thing. When you try to straighten it out again, it just hurts. And at a point, it's kind of like a baseball mitt in a way. Scoliosis is a base is like a baseball mitt where it starts like this, but if you hold it for long enough, it'll only like do that, and it would hurt. I'm sure those gloves are in a lot of pain, but scoliosis, for the most part, at least, isn't. Chronic. There are some exceptions, but you have to be already going through something chronic for that to be the case. This particular um, circumstance is actually very interesting on the front where you can gain it at a very early age or you can gain it very late down the line, but the end result ends up being about the same regardless. Unless you fix it ahead enough. Uh, enough time ahead. With that said, I don't know. These are my thoughts on the, um, you know, what would you call this? A disability, I guess? It's not really a disorder, it's not a disease, but it is a medical um, condition. So yeah, we're going to go with um, a disorder, I guess. It's not disability I don't know it does fall under the category nonetheless so figured I'd talk about it what are your guys' thoughts on the matter you think I missed out on anything that I could have brought up like I don't know I can't really think of anything let me know if there's something additional I could have spoke on on this maybe I can make a part two if there is for right now I'm gonna leave this here thanks again for tuning in the video guys and if you want to check out any other of the Diseases, Disabilities, and Disorders series. Click the link on the side of my head. You'll find a short list at the moment, but hopefully longer in the future. There, the other side will give you a video that maybe you might enjoy a bit more than this. In the meantime, yeah, gonna head off. Thanks again for tuning in the video, guys. We hope to catch all of you in another one. See you guys later.